Good morning. It is Karen with VintageDazzle.etsy.com with the start of a new reseller vlog on a Monday morning. And uh, I'm going to start out this vlog showing you what I am getting ready to ship, what I sold over the weekend. So, here it goes. Okay. So, I sold the Pepe Santiago hand-carved and painted bird from Oaxaca, Mexico. And, um, sorry, the birdie sold for 42 and he is shipping to um, Texas. And, let's see, sold this um, partridge in a pear tree enamel brooch. And this one is um, Monet. It's a good collector piece. And he sold for uh, 29, I think. Let's see. 29, okay. Um, and sold this turquoise sterling silver Native American ring. Really pretty color of turquoise, like a robin's egg blue. And that sold for 42. Let me double check. Yes, 42. Um, these are some 10 karat gold little tiny pearl screw back earrings. Those sold for 38. Adorable little Edwardian Art Nouveau trinket box. It's got a little china or porcelain rose inside. It's still got the silk lining. So cute. And that sold for 28. And then the star of the show is this bracelet, which, uh, it lasted about two hours before somebody spoke up for it, which is great because I did spend quite a bit on it. I, I spent either 60 or 65 on it, and uh, but it sold for 130 free shipping. So, really like the bracelet. Okay, so that is it for my sales. And let's see, let me show you what I listed also over the weekend. Okay, and these are some items that I have listed just recently. I listed this very cool gold filigree box with the glass, the beveled glass lid and this embellishment on the front. Listed that for $45. So this adorable little Limoges basket with a tiny cobalt blue glass bottle inside. And I listed that for $49. I listed this peacock pen with all the pretty multicolored stones. That was from my sister-in-law. One of her stashes listed that for 26 free shipping. And uh, this is the Catherine Popesco brooch. There's the mark on the back. And I listed that for 39 free shipping. Good morning. It's already Tuesday, and I'm going to just show you what I'm getting ready to ship off. I had one very nice sale yesterday, this sterling silver hinged cuff bracelet with the malachite and lapis inlaid. It's absolutely gorgeous work, and it's unfortunately not signed, but uh, it's just quite a lovely piece, and I sold that for $99 free shipping. And then this, if you're watching steadily, you might recognize, is a pendant that I just listed. It is also a brooch. It is not marked, but it is sterling silver with this uh, really pretty plume agate. Sorry. Plume agate is what I decided that was. Anyway, really pretty piece. And that was $37 free shipping. And here are a few things that I've just listed recently. This is um, Art Nouveau German Silver Match Safe or Vesta. Probably dates from right around 1900. And um, I did find a mark inside, oops, let's see, inside the rim on both sides. Mm -hmm. 
but it, it reads backwards because the front part, see the front part was right there, is kind of rubbed in or rubbed off. But um, what it does say is German silver. And of course German silver is not real silver, but it's an alloy. Um, it's the same thing as nickel silver or alpaca. But anyway, I thought that was pretty. Uh, $49 free shipping on that. And this is a sterling silver max bo matchbox cover. And this is the one that was uh, hallmarked. Uh, where's the hallmark? Come on, where is it? Okay. There it is. Uh, I was able to figure out what all this is. It is... Now, of course, I can't tell you. Henry Matthews. Birmingham. Lion Passant. There, that little middle thing is a lion. And that's for England sterling silver. And the date is for 1903. That little D inside the kind of shieldy looking thing. Anyway, very cute. Um, that I listed for $53 free shipping. This is a pottery shard necklace. This came from my sister-in-law. Um, it is set in sterling silver. It has a mark, but the mark is so indistinct you can't tell what it is. Uh, but I tested it, and it is sterling. Intriguing little bit of a picture on there. And that I listed for 28 free shipping. And then uh, this is an Anton Mickelson Denmark brooch of a Viking ship. And... Mark is right there. There it is. And that I listed for fifty-five for shipping. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning, and I'd just like to quickly show you the few little tiny things that I sold yesterday. But I also wanted to show you my necklace. Um, I made this from the little pendants that I bought at the flea market the other day. I hope you can. I hope you can see, but anyway, I thought that was fun. Uh, I made it while I was watching TV. Okay, uh, so I sold uh, these little silver tone knotted stud earrings. Very nice condition, very 1980s. Everybody was wearing knots in the 80s. Um, and those sold for, well, they sold for $18 free shipping, but the buyer used a coupon, so they were actually only $16. And this is an enamel on copper bracelet, very mid-century modern. And that sold for $22 free shipping. And then this pipe. It is a Dr. Graybo Lark. <laughs> and a little cleaning tool that I paired with it and that also sold for 22 plus shipping and that is it so I just bought this or rather I just had it delivered this um, wearable camera attaches magnetically to your glasses it's a pogo cam and this is the thing there it is attached to my glasses now I have already tested it and um, I'm not completely impressed. It works. Uh, the video quality is only so-so. It claims to be HD, but I swear it doesn't look like it is. And the sound is completely terrible. So if I want to use it, I have to really speak up and speak loudly. And I'm sure that outside, if there are traffic noises, it's not going to work well, well at all. But I thought it would be fun for you know, point of view shooting um, when I'm out and about and I just don't have a camera with me or whatever and I just want to show something real quick. Might be fun at the flea market. It's less obtrusive. People don't really see it. Um, at least I don't think they will. So, um, and I'm going to follow this with a clip. It's like the first clip that I took with it. So you can see, kind of get an idea of what it does. This is a completely unsolicited review, by the way. I did, I 
paid my own money for this. With shipping and everything, it was just under $40, so it wasn't all that much. But um, anyway, I thought that the packaging was really nice, and it seems to be, you know, not super cheap looking or feeling. So it got some pretty bad reviews, though. <laughs> Hi, Muffin. Say hi. Say hi. She is a good girl. Yes, she is. Think I'm taking video? Hi, it's Karen, and I'm using my new little glasses pogo cam. Just trying it out in different situations. We are heading down to see my mother-in-law, Sally, and my two sisters-in-law who are visiting. And we're all going to go to the Thai restaurant for dinner. So. so this is a really interesting cactus garden here in the retirement place where my mother-in-law lives. There's some very exotic looking specimens here. Sorry, you oh, probably would be, be a better view. Yeah, yeah, let me get from the other side where there's not so much. Oh, neat. Look at those flowers. Those are amazing. Yeah, it's just this funny funny. Look at that. But they're just so, like you said, it's so awesome. Funny, weird, alien things. Yeah. Exquisitely delicate flowers. Cool. Awesome. If I see That's someone who's so looking at me with that kind of thing, I'll <laughs> 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 Well, that's kind of been the, the problem with Google Glass, which is the, the Google Glasses that you put on that have the camera in them, is that people would forget and walk into bathrooms, into public bathrooms with them on. And I told Rob, remind me, don't let me go into a bathroom with this on, because you can get in trouble. Yeah, even if it's off, you know. Yeah, so. especially the men's. Right. Now, men is going to be here to the first, which is very... Very generous of her. Yes, thank you, Amelia. You're welcome. Anytime. So, and Amelia hopes to have. Are you recording <laughs> all of this? All right. <laughs> Amelia hopes to have uh, uh, my obituary. Have my obituary written, and. What else did you? We're gonna go through your genealogy stuff. Okay, and you're going to make a list list of the and then we're gonna give it to Catherine. Because Karen, uh, Catherine, is Catherine willing to take the it. genealogy cool. stuff, but I want to have a list of what's in there so that I can, everyone can have a list mm -hmm. of what is available. So if you would stop taking my <laughs> picture and recording me, I will be able to go ahead. <laughs> Finally, the sun is out. So pretty. Mm. 